What's up, guys? A144 here, doing some voiceover commentary uh, for the first time again in a while. Um, I've just been nonstop posting just regular old gameplays. Um, if you have uh, been following the channel at all, regular gameplays or some uh, gameplays with YouTube music. And I thought I would just discuss some general um, Call of Duty and YouTube thoughts um, on uh, this lovely day. Uh, this Actually, this first clip here was just kind of a crazy little start to a ground war match that I was in a while back. Uh, for some reason, I saved it. I thought it was really fun there at the beginning when I just uh, got to run into that room there and pick up like four tags. Uh, none of them were my kills, actually. Um, and then it kind of gets laggy here, but I go on a, a nice little run. And then I have a pretty quick um, kill confirmed uh, match on slums um, and that match is from the murder authentication live series I think it was about the fourth or fifth maybe uh, uh, game episode from that series and uh, that was one of the things I wanted to talk about is kind of uh, my main channel um, that got this whole YouTube Call of Duty thing started off for me and uh, some of my friends personally is over at TPL Gaming, and uh, so I'll f actually post uh, the link for the channel and like the most recent um, gameplay from the series we're doing, which, uh, like I said, is called the Murder Authentication Live. It was from, um, I think it was from March. Um, we did a, it's three studs and three duds um, series, playing Kill Confirmed. Uh, with myself, Peripheral Finn, and Mr. Owl, and Peripheral Finn's point of view. He did all the recording, so you can hear our um, bitching nonstop about lame deaths, not getting our kill, kill streaks, but uh, putting up some big scores and winning some matches. That is a good time. And then uh, Peripheral Finn actually has a side channel. Um, if you're unaware, if you know who that is, um, if you're seeing his comments on uh, my videos here, anything like that. He has a series going um, where we did what we called the Crazy 8 Challenge, where there was six of us playing, and we just tried to get uh, one win on all the main um, core uh, game types. Uh, Kill Confirm, Dom, Demolition, Hardpoint, Headquarters, uh, Search and Destroy, Team Deathmatch, um, Capture the Flag. I think that was the 8 if uh, I didn't miss one there. And... Uh, so he has that series going on his channel, and he's got the full uh, team talk um, and everything like that. Some uh, some uh, funny uh, moments and uh, things like that, and uh, some good call-outs in some of the matches, and us uh, being competitive with it and trying to win um, each game type without uh, taking a loss. Um, so uh, that's about that. Um, and then I wanted to mention... Um, well, it, I want to mention these two uh, famous YouTube channels for Call of Duty, Excalizors and Sandy Ravage. Um, they're the two channels that got me back into playing Black Ops 2. I played a lot in November and like into December, and I just was really frustrated with this game, just various things I was frustrated with. I was frustrated with connections and how they domination is two halves now and just all sorts of stuff like the list was endless of how many things I hated about this game and I kind of stopped playing in like January and um, I have been a subscriber to those guys for a while and I just kind of went onto YouTube and saw they were both um, uploading uh, Black Ops 2 um, into February still which uh, I thought that was a little surprising Excalzor only posted Modern Warfare 3 for like the first couple months it was out. Sandy Ravage is kind of always been more of like a Modern Warfare 2 guy. Um, and uh, so I was surprised to see that those guys were uploading. And not only are their gameplays and their videos really entertaining, uh, but uh, I picked up a lot of stuff. Like I realized that they were they would use Scavenger a lot and they would use C4 a lot. I think I've talked about this before. Um, so... But I guess I'm just kind of giving credit to those guys, even though they don't would never hear me saying that or anything like that. Whatever, though. Um, I know other things like you know using SMGs, playing kill confirmed, um, playing ground war. I guess if you can get a good connection and things like that. So um, 
That was good shit. And I, I just realized, I kind of realized this yesterday, actually. It's weird because I watched a video discussing the differences between the quick draw attachment and the dexterity perk and stuff like that. But it made me realize, like, actually how different this Call of Duty game is with the 10-point uh, class system. And we were always so used to just, like, basic, the kind of the basic guideline for multiplayer. It was three perks. It was a primary gun with probably one attachment. It was a secondary weapon. It was, uh, you know, like one grenade. And it was usually, like, for me, it was, like, almost always Semtex, you know? And it was uh, one... one um, tactical grenade which was like almost always like concussion grenades or flashbangs and and this game like it was so different with the 10 point class system and with how certain things that we were used to like having sleight of hand always meant reloading faster and aiming down sights faster and if you wanted to reload faster now you have to um put the fast mags attachment on and if you want to aim down sights faster now you have to put the quick draw attachment on and um, other things like how the steady aim perk uh, used to be, like the two basic things about steady aim was that you could hip fire with better accuracy um, in most of the past Call of Duty games, and that you would recover from sprinting sooner. I think that was in some of the games, maybe Black Ops 1 for sure. Um, and if you want to have both of those abilities to recover from sprinting faster and to hip fire more accurately, it takes one attachment and one perk so you really have to kind of think about it and there's so many attachments in this game that was another thing that i was kind of annoyed by it was super overwhelming like like in modern warfare 3 it was like all right i'm using an smg so i'm probably going to have rapid fire or extended mags you know it was basic like um and modern warfare 3 is also like i'm using assault rifles so yeah i'm probably going to use a red dot or extended mags and Black Ops, it was, I'm using an assault rifle, so I'm probably going to use Red Dot. You know, it was just like, it seemed more obvious. And in this game, you're like, okay, well, if I'm going to use Red Dot, then that means I might not be able to use Quick Draw, and I might not be able to reload as fast, and I might not be able to recover from sprinting as fast. Or it was, it, I think that was one of the things I didn't kind of like about the game. And as I've played a shitload in kind of mid-February until mid-April here, um, late April, I've played a ton, and I've just pick, finally picked up on a lot of those nuances that uh, I guess I just never really figured out, and it was, a, and it's all because of uh, watching those YouTube channels, which just is crazy in itself. I don't know how those guys figured out. I, I guess Excalibur plays a ton when the game comes out, so I guess he just has time to experiment on uh, everything, and I assume his... YouTube gig is basically his full-time job, um, and here I am only playing a few hours a night here and there trying to figure it out, and you just get frustrated, but anyways, so uh, kind of going off that, at this point, like, Black Ops 2 has been so fun, I'm, I think it might be my favorite Call of Duty game that I've played for multiplayer, that is, um, Modern Warfare 2, you know, had its fun run, um, Black Ops was probably my favorite, and then all of a sudden I was like, man, I don't know, Modern Warfare 3 is pretty good for, if you're playing, you know, or, um, do, like, the best part of Modern Warfare 3 is playing Domination with teammates, um, but, uh, I don't know, I have a, a better, uh, kill-death ratio in this game than I have in basically all the other Call of Duty games now at this point, um, I'm gonna hit Master Prestige um, sometime in the next week or two, which I haven't ever done in any of these games. Um, I mean, putting up big scores, the scoring system in this game is great and everything like that, so I don't know. Um, I guess that's about it. That's about all I have to say. This uh, Slums match is winding down. Actually, the one thing I will say is I love Slums so much, and the last two times I've played, it hasn't come up, so... There's one thing that I'm going to rip right now. Slums needs to keep coming up as often as it used to, um, despite these map packs coming out and stuff like that. So hope to see Slums again soon. Anyways, um, and also I think if you noticed, I post uh, matches on Slums a lot. My bad. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. That's the match. 40 and 6, 50-some, 5,000-some points. Yay, yay!